top story tonight is about the plan to fix the Lake Tyler Dam. Continuing coverage on the Lake Tyler Dam repairs. While people take a dip in Lake Tyler and cruise on their boats, the dam just a few feet away continues to slowly leak. I'm Steve Richards with ETTO Engineers in Tyler, Texas, geotechnical engineering firm, and we uh, practice with the city of Tyler on many different projects, and this particular project is a dam owned by the city of Tyler, and uh, we were asked by their engineer to investigate uh, the problems with seepage under the dam. What we have here is a, an embankment dam that is built out of clay and it's 60 feet tall sitting on top of 30 to 60 feet of highly permeable silty sand. And the issue that we're addressing is under seepage or seepage through the sand that runs under the dam and creates erosion on the downstream side. We have a similar problem over at the spillway too. So the question was, how are we going to solve this problem because we need to cut off the seepage? And the way that we came up with was to create a cutoff wall in the ground uh, consisting of mixed soil mixed with cement and bentonite to turn the soil into an impermeable barrier, thus preventing the seepage from continuing under the dam. We had to create the wall on the back side of the dam, halfway between the crest and the toe. And the wall was going to be a trench basically two and a half feet wide by 60 feet deep with uh, soil and cement and bentonite mixed in place. One of the firms that we selected to bid on the project was DeWind. The reason we approved DeWind for work on this job because we were very impressed with their technology and their ability to create what we needed, which was a highly impermeable barrier. And not only that, but which was a process that involved creating, mixing in place in the trench, not having to remove any material from the trench, because if that was necessary, then we would have problems with the trench wall collapsing. We had to have a process that would create a heavily uh, or a heavy fluid weight in the trench to stabilize the trench wall. And we needed a continuous wall from beginning to end without gaps and leaks. And that is what we got with DeWind and we're very pleased with it. Our instrumentation documents that we achieved a very tight wall because we've measured water levels on both the upstream and downstream sides of the wall and the downstream shows drops, dramatic drops in the water level downstream of the wall and dramatic build up to lake level on the upstream side, verifying that we have a very tight wall. And that just correlates with the testing that we conducted during the project, which uh, demonstrated that DeWind was achieving a very uh, uniform mixture from start to finish, regardless of whether they were just in sand, which is what part of the project was, or in a mixture of sand and clay when they were cutting through the clay of the dam down into the sand below it. They were mixing both sand and clay. And in both cases, they were able to achieve the kind of mixture that we needed, the very low permeability and a very thorough blend from top to bottom. DeWind's technology is basically like a, uh, a blender on steroids. It thoroughly mixes from top to bottom the native soil, the cement and the bentonite that's added during the process and creates a, a highly uniform mixture which was what we needed to create the barrier that we were looking for. In the beginning we started uh, testing the mixture from retrieving samples from the bottom of the wall and the middle of the wall and the top of the wall but uh, we soon realized that the mixture, the samples from the bottom and the top and the middle were nearly identical to what we would sample from the top of the wall. So the rest of the job was conducted by just sampling a mixture from the top of the wall. And um, we found from our testing, which 
we did uh, very extensively. We conducted uh, samples of unit, for unit weight and permeability at every, roughly every 30 feet along the length of the 3,000 foot long wall. And uh, we got very consistent results. The uh, permeability we were looking for was one times 10 to the minus six, and we were consistently getting three or four times 10 to the minus seven, which is uh, nearly six or seven times what, what we need. One of the unique challenges of this project was the construction of the cutoff wall on the back side of the dam. And this necessitated a trench full of very heavyweight fluid to accomplish the goal that we had of maintaining support for the trench wall during construction. Uh, DeWin's process of creating a thoroughly in, in place mixed cement, bentonite, and soil created a very heavy fluid weight in the order of 105 pounds per cubic foot to 110. DeWin's one pass technology does it all in place, mixing the soil and the cement and the bentonite without any need to remove spoil from the trench, maintaining it in the trench, maintaining a heavy fluid weight to support the wall of the trench for the whole length of the construction, which is exactly what we needed for this project. We were very pleased with the performance of DeWind on this project. It, they were working in very restricted conditions, uh, a 20-foot wide platform. They had to work in varying depths of trench. They had to work in varying materials from clay to sand. And they had to work at a rate which was, uh, would ensure an efficient completion of the job without any significant delays. And they were able to achieve all of that. And on top of that, we were very pleased with the ability to be able to work with them. They were very uh, uh, good to work with in terms of addressing what our concerns were in very critical areas of the job. And uh, we were just, uh, our instruments show that everything is working well and, and things continue to improve. The seeps on the downstream side of the wall have dried up. The problem that the, what we hired DeWin to address has gone away and uh, we're just very pleased with the overall performance on the project.